Woohoo! We got everything working and functional again. So let's dive into the best top decks in each color that I think are going to really dominate the format. So let's dive into the video for EX2, shall we? So let's start this party off, shall we? First off, let's talk about Gallimon himself. Red has a very interesting color dynamic in this format. It's either going to be Black War Greymon or Gallimon. I think Gallimon slightly pulls ahead because it has a little bit better matchup against the Yellow Hybrid. Even though Black, can, Black War Greymon can take care of the D-Reaper, this can actually handle D-Reaper a little bit. Maybe need some small tweakings to actually overpower it. But with Hero, you can kind of climb over Mother very easily. And we just use Judgment on the Blades to kind of just end Mother off the face of the earth. Because what's interesting about it is once the Digitama comes out, you can swing into it. So using Judgment of the Blade on your Gallant Mons can definitely, with a hero or something like that, add up to game wins. Especially if you do it with this Gallant Mon, he comes 14 plus 16, gets over Mother very easily, which will then make it so that they have to restart everything and killing off one mother, especially if people take certain deck building advice and only play one mother reaper, which don't do. So just giving you a heads up, don't do that. Uh, Gigimon here is if the Zijimon has Gilamon, Garalmon, or Galamon in his name, draw one card. Uh, this Gilamon's in here for revealing the top four cards of your deck. Add one card with Graumon, Galamon in its name, and a Takato to hand, placing basically remaining cards to the bottom of your deck in any order if the Digimon has Graumon or Galamon as name delete one of your opponents did you want 3000 dp uh gets bigger with some of the effects especially Galamon's. if we have a Galamon on now you can pop a 5000 with just that effect uh agumon's here just to give us at least when we're facing the yellow hybrid matchup if they have a very beefy board with zoe's and zephyrmon's so your Galamon has more likely to survive that kind of swing uh, Gilamon in here, so if your opponent has a level 6 or higher, you get to warp into Gallimon for 4, ignoring its requirements. Only these Gallimons. You can't Digivolve into Crimson Mode. It is a specific name card. Uh, but once returned, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, draw a card. A Gunimon to Digivolve on Tamer to win game. Graumon's in here, delete one of your opponent's Digimon 2,000 DP. When attacking, if you have a Red Tamer, it's 4,000. If you have a Gallimon out, it's 6,000. So, all in all, really good. When attacking, if you have if this Digimon has Growl or Gallimon in its name, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less. Greymon, extra security checks, always great to apply pressure. Growlmon's in here, so if one of your opponent's Digimon is deleted, you gain a memory. Rise Greymon's Digiburst gets to play a Tamer for less. F pretty much plays your Takatos or your Heroes. Uh, just all in all, just free Tamer. If you have a Tamer in play, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000 DP. Helps us lower them in so we can pop with Gallimon's effect. Uh, this Metal Greymon's really in for going second. What's really good about it is if your opponent has a Tamer in play, gain two memory. If you don't have a Tamer in play, you may play one Red Tamer from your hand without paying its memory cost. Really solid there. But once per turn, when one of your opponent's Digimon is deleted, gain a memory. It kind of cycles really good with Growlmon. Especially with Crimson Mode and stuff like that, you can bring it back to your turn even when you Blitz. Which really does help out. War Graumon's here for deleting one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. But if you have a Tamer in play, red one in Pacific, uh, 6,000 DP or less. Then maximum DP of your effects deleted is increased by 1,000 DP. So they can get higher and higher and almost kill big guys. Uh, War Graumon's here for when attacking, delete a 3,000 DP. Nothing too crazy here. But when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gets security plus one. So it combos very well with all our effects. This Gallimon's in here because good card and name. And also earlier aggression because depending on the matchups, especially against purple, uh, yellow hybrid or anything like that, they per they perceived going to long game. So this Gallimon could trash your opponent's security without having to worry about dying. And then if you have a Tamer in play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. Really good. New Gallopmons just to increase the maximum DP by 2,000 DP. Choose any of your opponent's Digimon with a total DP that adds up to 6,000 DP or less. Delete them. Uh, just becoming big beefy. Getting rid of Mother is huge. That's why we're running the Judgment and Blade I mentioned before. Megidramon's in here for delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 
1,000 DP or less. Can be 12 if you already had a Gallimon established. If the Digimon doesn't delete a Digimon, trash five cards from both players' decks. Speeds up for your Crimson Mode wins and all that fun stuff. And then on deletion, get to play a Gilemon and Takato from your hand without or trash without paying their memory costs. Really huge, especially sets things back up. Uh, Crimson Mode in here, delete all your opponent's Digimon with the highest DP. And then when attacking, trash one card from the top of your opponent's security stack. Increase the number of cards trashed by this effect by one for every 10 cards your opponent has in trash. This card can get really ridiculous, especially with a Takato Blitz turn. You could instantly deal five damage um, and win game very easily, depending on the game state and what you're facing. So keep that in mind. Judgment of the Blade, literally a one, the two of, basically to take care of Mother Reaper. So that is just what it's in here for, or dealing with opponents' other Digimon because let's Gallimon literally just trashes when you swing into something. Uh, Crimson Mode just trashes something. So when attacking, so these this this you don't have to, and then you can just swing into opponents' Digimon and then trash stuff and then win game that way. Uh, memory boost just to extend plays and search for combo pieces. Gaia Force if Mother Reaper gets too out of hand. At least if they hit Gaia Force, you can kill the Reaper. That is going to try to OTK you. So hopefully it hits an insecurity. Uh, Heroes in here to give us extra boost. So when we try to kill Mother or anything else like that, it's just how that goes. Takato's in here for if one of our opponent's Digimon is deleted, you may suspend this Tamer, gain one memory. And then when your Digimon would be di would Digivolve into a Digimon with Gallimon or Growlmon in Steam, it gains Blitz. So this can activate with Crimson Mode really could be a game finisher so keep that in mind i think gallantmon has the most potential i mean black war graymon is also in that same level with red but i feel like gallantmon definitely has high potential this format uh blue deck that kind of just takes mvp here we got demi v mons you know mega deaths you know suspend one of your opponent's digimon return it to your opponent's return one of your opponent's suspended digimon to its owner's hand just a really good card I feel like it's a two to three card with Mega Death, but that's just how that's going to be. Just because how you want to play it depends on the matchup. It does really nothing against Reapers or anything like that, or Yellow Hybrid because you don't really want to bounce anything back to the hand. You want to kill it. So just keep that in mind. Hidden Potential Discover just to reduce costs of you know Dragon Mode and your Fighter Mode. Davis and Davis and Ken, just memory gain fixers, and this card just lets you unsuspend one of your Digimon. Davis just being Davis. Uh, Bimon jamming, gets extra memory. Well, swings in and is a threat in himself. Bimon, your searcher here. This one gets you a two-color card. This is not specific to Digimon, so you can grab Megadeth or your Davis and Ken. Vmon, so when this Digimon becomes unsuspended during your main phase, gain one memory. This Vmon searches a free type. Uh, Wormmon's here, so you can DNA and Digivolve at the end phase. It's not a bad tech. I think it's very interesting. Uh, we can definitely tech this out for something better, but you never know. Sometimes you might just hard play something and it passes turn or anything like that, but being able to DNA right away might help out extremely well. Um... I mean, what you could do is pull out the Wormmon and then your XVmon if you didn't have another, like, Stingmon or anything like that. I mean, you could just pull out both Champions and Jogress again, but you never know. You might need to Digivolve on top of the Wormmon to dig a little deeper. Uh, Lydramon, definitely in here to spend one of your opponents level four or lower Digimon. Really useful. Uh, Pyodramon, unsuspends himself, your multi-attacking enabler, and then being able to bottom one of your opponents 6,000 DP or less at the bottom is huge. Dino B Mon, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. When D DNA Digivolving, this Digimon doesn't unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase. Really does help apply pressure. Uh, fighter mode, just in here for the multi-attacking and balancing a 10,000 DP or less to its owner's hand. Uh, really just solid working here. Uh, being able to unsuspend himself is huge. Imperial Dramon, Dragon Mode, you may play one level 4 or lower blue Digimon card or level 4 or lower green Digimon card from this Digivolve do Digi Evolution cards without paying their memory cost. Just being able to Jogress again might help you win the game. Hammer Sparks extensions, Mega Def controlling. The, out and all, very solid. I think the list will, a better list will be here, but I think this is just 
basically blues nutshell champion here uh yellow hybrid is definitely going to be one of the decks to beat it's just sticking around long game uh here's my list personally that i've been running uh, we got Cupimons for draw upamons for draw salamon for recovery another rookie patamon to combo and rapamon so if you kill something and can keep it your turn and apply more pressure kazemon for your opponent's digimon you may digivolve this card from your hand onto one of your yellow tamers uh zephyrmon same thing being able to digivolve on top of your tamers but also if this digimon has hybrid in straight or zoe in its options did you evolution all your security digimon got plus 3000 dp so if they're not swinging with jamming highly likely they can die so just keep that in mind rapidmon ace card just being able to armor purge and then suspend one of your opponent's digimon for each tamer you have in play then up to six of your opponent's Digi suspended digimon gets minus 5000 dp for the turn jet selfie is if you have a hybrid in traits did you evolution cards recovery plus one uh broken card everyone knows it i get it the card is restrictive but it's at the same time so free to get into it fall down mode recovery plus one that's all it's in here for and then being able to play a level four lower tame uh digimon if it's killed uh seraphimon's multiple security check pressure and then recovery plus one Tazanomon security plus two delete one of your opponent's digimon uh basically recycles all your dead tamers and or hybrids just all in all good stuff eating javelin just drawing and minusing dp is huge reinforce memory boost gain three memory wyvern breath kills off big things yellow men boost searches TK grabs from your, your, you know, security, gains you a recovery, you know, all that good jazz. TK Kari, just basically making it so you can extend your plays. Zoe's always Zoe. You may search your security for one card with hybrid or 10 warriors and trait. Reveal it. <sighs> add it to your hand, and then you can add a card from your hand, recovery plus one. So, Again, extending plays. Cody's in here for the Rapid Mon play, keeping it your turn. And it's just really powerful because minusing DP, especially with multicoloring, you can start killing little things, triggering patas and future turns, all that fun stuff. Kari, just to make Jet Selfie free. Basically, that's all she's in here for. That free 1-up plus memory can really do some damage. I think Green, Green did it. I get Shiva Mon's really powerful. But I feel like Mega Gargomon is just that better. Um, just being able to have access to Rapidmon for cheaper. Uh, being able to remove threats off board. You know, Pinamon, Gummimon, being able to become suspended, draw a card. Pinamon is when you attack an opponent's Digimon, draw a card. So much card advantage. Shuts down options with this ter Terrymon. Betamon helps you search for your level fours. Um and one green tamer which we do have plenty of those terriermon here you may reveal the top five cards of your deck add one card with gargamon or rapamon send his name among them to your hand place the written cards at the bottom of the deck in any order uh this terriermon's new so when you play a green tamer gain one memory when your opponent's digimon becomes suspended this digimon gets plus 2000 dp uh gargamon's in here so when one of your digimon would digivolve if you have a green tamer in play reduce the memory cost by one so that's really huge because it makes your ultimates cheaper. When one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP, making him big and beefy. Kabuterimon, just a blocker, one cost evolves. Rapidmon, just suspending three of your opponent's Digimon and minusing them 5,000 DP is huge. Argomon's in here to extend plays. Uh, Digisorption is really good. Blossomon, same thing. Digisorption is really good. Rapidmon, so when did you evolve? If you have a green tamer in play, suspend one of your po opponent's Digimon. And then if one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended this turn, gain plus security plus one. Uh, it has to be seen by that evolution stack. It cannot. So basically you have to be a Mega for that extra security of resting and suspending can happen. Mega Gargomon here. When did you volume suspend one of your opponent's Digimon? It doesn't unsuspend until your opponent's next unsuspend step. This is really good for Megas that can't get off. They're, you know, joggersing out of it. So just keep that in mind. When your opponent's Digimon is suspended, this suspended Digimon in play, this Digimon gains security plus one. So, you know, swinging in multiple security checks really does help it. He's not beefy, but there are power-up bonuses in the Gargo line. Uh, so just keep that in mind. 
Uh, Mega Gargamon, the new one. So when did you evolving suspend one of your opponent's Digimon for each green tamer you have in play? Those Digimon do not unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend step. So this really does help out if they can't joggers them off. But it also helps prevent them from getting extra attacks in. Uh, when attacking, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon with DP less than this Digimon to its owner's hand. We can bounce almost everything because all it takes is this Gargomon here. Um, that's huge. We become a 15 beater. We can get rid of Susano and stuff like that. Uh, Kalamon in here, just so when you play this Digimon from hand, if you have a Gilmon, Terriermon, Renamon, Impmon in play, the cost to play this card is reduced by two, becomes in for one. Uh, this Digimon can attack, which is fine, but your turn when this Digimon digivolves by resting this Digimon, gain one memory, draw a card. Uh, and until the end of your this turn, one of your Digimon gets plus 3,000 DP. Makes it bigger and beefier. Hidden potential, we know what this is going to do. Uh, makes it cheaper to get into Mega Gargomon very easily. Memory boost extending our plays. Willis is in here, so on play, you may hatch one Digi Egg from a card to an empty space in your breeding area. When one of your Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon with Gargomon or Rapidmon in its name, you may suspend this Tamer to roost that Digi Evolution lucian cost by one so we can reduce mega gargamon to a four cost henry's really good because he's a memory setter and then when one of your digimon with gargamon or rapidmon in his name attacks you may spend this tamer to spend one of your opponent's digimon helps get rid of threats off the board and then izzy helps us extend plays because when one of your opponent's digimon becomes suspended you may suspend this tamer gain one memory so again just extending our plays with memory gain shenanigans no mimi but that's just because we're going to suspend, remove threats off board, and just call it a day. Just really solid all around. Next, let's talk about black. I think X antibody is still the way to go. I mean, you do have Justimon. Justimon's really good, but I feel like X antibody is just slightly better than Justimon. Uh, just because it has so much protection in itself built in. You only need Breath of the Gods uh, just to give it the full rounded protection. Or Yumon, even just sitting on him, place one card for, with X antibodies and straight from your hand. Bottom of Digi Evolution, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost seven or less. But also, once per turn, when one of your effects places a Digi Evolution card under this Digimon, this Digimon gets plus 2000 DP and can't be deleted by opponent's card effects until the end of opponent's next turn. And then at the end of the turn, if this Digimon has Alpha Mon in same, unsuspend it. So you can OTK potential with Alpha Mon. Duramon's basically in here for extra poppage and just going to town. Uh, the major reason of this deck's falter is that it's such a heavy deck that puts everything underneath its stack. If you lose that stack too early before you're ready to protect it, you can lose the game. Yuja is such a huge important card because being able to draw and gain a memory when an X antibody comes out of raising helps. And then when one of your black Digimon with X antibody and straights attack, you may spend this tamer, place one card with X antibody and straights from your hand under that Digimon as a bottom of Digi Evolution card. So you get multiple security checks, more power-ups, anything like that. Coda is in here, so if you have two or less memory, set it to three. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one card with X antibody and straights among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. All in all, just solid great stuff. Breath of the Gods reboot, you know, DP protection is huge. Metal Cannon draws you so much card advantage. Uh, he's Shurujin, uh, DDG Evolution 1. And then you may place one X, -Man X Antibody in its traits from your hand as a bottom DG Evolution card of one of your black Digimon with X Antibody in its traits to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost four or less. Not bad. And then just being able to DDG Evolve in security and delete one of your opponent's Digimon. Go to searches and it gets you a gain three memory a turn. He's your memory tamer. Black Memory Boost Extending Searching. Uh, Durimon, just being able to draw. Uh, Duramon, be able to search for an X Antibody and Coda. And then when one of your effects places a Digi Evolution card, it just gains a memory. This one creates Decoy. Uh, and then you get X Antibody Traits and Yuja. Then you have Sanzori, just for that fantastic piercing, but also security checks if you have to go into it. Grumblemon's Grumblemon. Uh, digivolving on top of our tamers. Durumon's basically giving blocker to itself, which isn't bad. But while this Digimon has X antibody in straight, it gets plus 1,000 DP. While this Digimon has X antibody in straight, it gets plus 1,000 DP, which can make him a little more beefier and a harder threat to get rid of. Uh, Jinruman just becomes blocker. 
by inheritable. Uh, Duragraymon helps prevent it from being deleted by DP reduction effects. Really does solid work. And while this Digimon has X antibody trait, gain security plus one. Just really helps out all and around. Uh, Hishurumon's your combo extender. This card is a major reason why you can go into Urumon and keep it your turn, swing in, gains reboot. Keeps, makes it a blocker the next while keeping it a blocker next turn and you apply damage all in all solid work i think Justimon can be a trade-off here but i think x antibody just takes the clear win here uh next we have mastemon for purple purple's mastemon is just god tier uh mastemon just being able to take any level five yellow and purple instantly go into itself being able to Get a Lusamon Chaos Mode, pop a Tamer, pop a level 6, and you get to pop a level 5. You're you're kind of in a win-win situation. And then all turns, you may play another... When you play another Digimon using an effect delete or your opponent's Digimon whose level is less than or equal to the played level Digimon. So it's just all in all good stuff. Uh, Wizardmon's in here for Wizardmon things for 2 cost. Godamon's in here just... Because if you don't see this card, you're not winning the game. But, you know, when this Digimon would Digivolve into a card with Archangel or Fallen Angel and his traits reduce the memory cost by two. And then you may DNA Digivolve this Digimon and one of your other Digimon in play into a Digimon card in your hand by paying its Digi-Evolution cost. So, Jogger Sing is Jogger Sing. So, I mean, it's free. There's never a chance you're not paying, which I don't get why pay cost. Uh, Lady Devamon is when Digivolve and draw two. Graceful Charity on legs because you draw for one per evolution. And then you have when an option is used, delete one opponent's level three Digimon. Uh, Calling from Darkness cycles back your cards. Zort Defeat Pop Tamers, just a big beefy threat. Purple Mem Boost searches your stuff. Uh, we also have Flame Hell Scythe because minus 6,000 DP and then being able to play any of your ultimates is huge. Cost, chaos de Degradation gets rid of big ugly threats. And placing and being able to put it at the bottom or top of your opponent's security stack. They might recover one, but now that gets some of Digimon off the board. Kari's just for extending your plays on your turn. Uh, Angel Woolmon on play, one of your opponent's Digimon gets security minus two until the end of your opponent's next turn. And while you have a purple Digimon in play, this Digimon gets security plus one. So this can lead to Mastemon swinging for multiple checks. Magnet Angemon on play, recovery one. If we play it with Maste after pulling it out, uh, instantly get a free recovery lady deva is an extender searcher and trashing cards and just makes retaliation uh lusamon chaos mode pops tamers and level six digimon just nasty little guy uh nirumon just helps extend and draw cards uh gazemon stops memory tamers this is to help mitigate the reaper deck just because you want to not make it so they can play for cheaper you want it to give them a bunch of memory Ganemon, you may play another purple Digimon, gain a memory. Uh, Salamon, just DNA with Gato's effect. Black Gato gives retaliation and rush. Just another combo piece ender, just in case you go into Mastemon and you can rush swing game. Uh, fall down mode, recovery plus one. Uh, also gets the delete one of your opponent's level four or lower Digimon. And then if you play a purple or yellow level four or lower Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost, if it's deleted. Uh, Creepymon's in here, or Demon. Uh... Trashing the top of cards of your deck for each of your opponent's Digimon in play. If you have four or more cards with this, if you trash four or more cards with this effect, you may play one level five or lower purple Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Just another way of getting Lusamon Chaos Mode out. But when attacking for every 10 cards in your trash, trash three cards from your opponent's deck. This Digimon gets plus 3000 DP for the turn. Really does help out. Applying pressure is all the fun in the rage. Uh, being able to mill cards does help out against the notorious yellow hybrid matchup you just might need to mill out a little bit helps you out so all in all good stuff i don't see anything wrong here uh next let's talk about it yellow has mother d reaper so this is the deck i've been kind of mentioning through decks this digimon can attack cannot be affected by your opponent's effects if you don't have another mother d reaper in play place one of your a R2 searchers in play or one of your AR searchers in your hand at the bottom of this G evolution cards. Uh, then when your opponent, when your Digimon with D Reaper and traits would be played from your hand, you may reduce the play cost by one for each DG evolution. This card has, this gets ridiculous pretty quickly because this gets free. It starts getting free. 
If you know what Eldrazi does, this is just ridiculous. Uh, this is a black variant. So we have Searcher. This is the major thing. All turns, all your Digimon with D Reaper and its traits gain plus 1,000 DP. They get beefy fast. Uh, you can have 50 copies of this card. And then when playing this card from hand, if you don't have another Searcher in play, reduce the play cost by two. And this Digimon can attack player, luckily, but on play, draw a card. So, I mean, free value is free value, right? Uh, Pendulum Fleet, uh, on play, reveal, top three cards of your deck, add one Digimon card with D-Reaper in straight, and one ADR, two Searcher among them from your hand, place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck. So, just feeling your deck, you hope they don't see this right away, but they're going to see it. Bubbles here for security, you may play one Searcher or one Searcher from your hand. And as a bottom Digi Evolution card, so your mother D-Reaper sets up more plays. On play, you may place one of your searchers or, or one searcher from your hand to the bottom of a Digi Evolution card of one of your mother D-Reapers. So this gets to play twice, and that's ridiculously broken. Uh, Jerry's in here. Un by suspending this Digimon, reveal five cards on the top of your deck. Place one searcher from among them to the bottom of your mother D-Reaper sources. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. Just making Mother really beefy. Uh, creepy Hands, while you have a Mother in play, this Digimon gains Blocker. Really good, solid tech. Uh, Gatekeeper, this card is very annoying because Security play this card without battling, without paying its cost. But on play, while you have Mother Reaper, Recovery plus one. And then when your Mother Reaper has six Digi Evolution sources or more, all your opponent's Digimon gets minus Security plus one. Can shut down lethal games. Now we have the Big Daddy Reaper. So this card, heads up, will give you a warning. Saichimon cannot stop this effect. Because it's to reduce the Digimon's play cost to zero. It's an alternative play cost. It's not to... You can't lower it because it's changing the reduced play cost. It has Rush. And then when attacking, you may place two Searchers from Trash under this Digimon in any order. As it's DJ Evolution cards to unsuspend this Digimon, swing again. Uh, being able to trash seven or more DJ Evolution cards from the bottom of one of your mother D Reapers is huge. Uh, Final Zabork Punch. This card makes it so your mother D Reaper can get blocker. She becomes a 18k blocker very easily and has reboot. I mean, she won't be swinging, but at least being able to block is huge. Ultimate Flare, if they hit it in security, you can D DG Evolve one to three. Uh, and then delete all your opponent's Digimon with a play cost three or less. Uh, Tai Kamiya here, just to make sure that we just have gain three memory a turn. Uh, that's all this is, all it's doing. This is a really crazy deck. I won't be surprised if it tops uh, next week when it drops. So keep an eye out on this deck. So guys, what did you think of my picks? I think I did really solid on my picks. You can definitely disagree down below. Let me know down in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.